Well, sometimes it takes time. I mean, you saw Jesse Ventura, Willie Nelson, a lot of other people go public after sure. you went public. Sure. And, and we don't know that Hollywood people haven't made a statement to the media. The media is trying to clamp this down, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. That's so true. I think there, there, there could have been those that, that, that uh, they came forward that just uh, the message was not delivered, you know. Well, I happen to know for a fact that there are some other big Hollywood people who have made little statements here and there, but they haven't boldly come out on the radio. They haven't made a public statement to the president. And I think that's why you are a hero, Charlie. Well, thanks, it, Alex. I mean, I don't look at myself like that. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I'm not sitting back here like, you know, studying Google and every single story. I'm not, you know, basking in what I've done. I just, you know, I feel like I have a responsibility um, to, 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 uh, you know, use my platform, use my position, use my voice, and and um, represent those that, that 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 don't have that platform, that don't have the ability to, to, to reach the amount of people that I do. And, um, you know, last time I checked, that was my God-given right uh, in this country as a law-abiding, tax-paying American. Well, that's another last time issue. I checked, last time I checked. But I guess, you know, I guess the, the, the clock is ticking on that front as well. But wait a minute, Alex. Let's talk for two seconds about the, the president uh, finds the time to comment on this ridiculous Kanye West thing at a music uh, awards show. And then, you know, they, 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 they have to call and apologize to the White House because it was something set off the record. But it's like a whole big thing. But he doesn't even acknowledge that, uh, that this letter was presented, the video was produced and, and, and launched on YouTube that's blown up, you know, in the last four or five days. He doesn't even have the decency, the compassion, the, 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 just the, the executive awareness just make one comment about this just so we know that he's read it that he cares that he doesn't care something just let us know where you stand mr president because uh you know i didn't do this i didn't do this just to you know suddenly put myself back in the news you know in fact you're the media has reported one of the most private people in hollywood turned down interviews constantly uh, i was talking to your publicist larry king's trying to get you every week You've refused for year after year. You suddenly say, okay, I'm ready to come on and talk about 9-11, and you can have three people against me. Sure. And even three to one, they can't get them to come on and go up against you. Just like popular mechanics will debate no one. Sure. They will only go on when the opposition's hands are tied. Sure. Just like Obama won't touch what you're doing because it has substance. Some fool grabbing a microphone away at some award ceremony, that's safe for him to weigh in on and call the guy a jackass. Exactly. But exactly. I mean, I don't drink, but I don't see why he and I couldn't uh, recreate the, you know, the Rose Garden uh, beer meeting, you know? Well, you could have a buckler like uh, <laughs> one of the guys that doesn't drink did. <laughs> exactly. Um... But again, you know, it's, I mean, obviously at this point, everybody knows we're not hiding. We're here to make a statement. We're here to confront, you know, uh, an issue and issues that have been ignored and 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 and, and steamrolled and, and and completely devastated for for much too long. And um, and it's time to be accountable. It's time to step up. It's time to step forward. It's time to you know to put this thing back on the front burner. And um, and it's time to demand the truth. You know, that's what it's really about. It's really about right here, right now. What can we do right here, right now? Well, you and I have talked a lot about why you wanted to go public, and it's the same reason I go public. How do you know six of the ten commissioners say it's a fraud and a cover-up? How do you know the White House uh, was involved covering it up? How do you know that FBI translators said the government was running Al-Qaeda and bin Laden up sure. until the day of the attack, 9-11? Sure. How do you know NORAD stood down and then just go, oh, I'm going to go on about my life. Uh, they've staged Gulf of Tonkin. Cheney wanted to blow up our own ships. This whole history. And then we're supposed to just sit back and ignore it. And that's completely abnormal it to is. be able just to ignore this. It is. It is. But uh, unfortunately, that um, you know, they created the illusion that that that, that that's uh, that there's no other option. That, that is the only way to behave. That is the only way to think. And anybody that dares defy that is uh, is labeled a nut job. Is 
labeled, you know, it was labeled a wacko. And it just, um, no, I'm sorry, that's not good enough. That's not, um, that's not what, what, you know, what, what free thinking people were, were, how we were taught. That's not what, you know, the, the, those aren't the ideals we were raised on. Charlie, when we come back, we've got a big announcement to make, and we've got a few other issues to cover in the time we have with you uh, today. But just asking you live here on air, from my perspective, it's been a huge success with your video message, 20 Minutes of the President, published by hundreds of newspapers, links to it. Some papers printed the whole thing, some your 20, uh, your 20 bullet points. Uh, it's reignited a huge debate about false flag terror, and I think really keeps the establishment from trying to pull something like this again. Are you happy with what's happened overall? I'm thrilled, Alex. I'm thrilled. I mean, this is, uh, this is you know, phase one is a major success. But, you know, to be thrilled and, and, and not satisfied is, um, is, is a little frustrating, to be honest, you know, because um, I, didn't, I didn't start this. I didn't, I didn't, you know, roll this snowball downhill to, uh, to have it just be this, you know. I did. This is the, the ultimate goal: is to is to sit down with the man, is to have get get twenty minutes of FaceTime with POTUS. That's what this is about. Twenty minutes with Possum. I mean POTUS. Yes. Charlie Sheen is our guest. Phase one has been launched. We're going to let you know a little bit about phase two, but there's more coming up down the road as well. Charlie Sheen is our guest, and you, my friends, are essential in phase two, even more important than you were in phase one. Stay with us.